Welcome back everybody to Harmon Simulator 19 here on New Woodshire. Folks, how y'all doing? Y'all doing all right? Uh, pardon the mess here. Um, yeah, I still ain't got around straightening up. Been too busy. Um, before we get started uh, running back around again, uh, sorry the last episode was short. I had to uh, <laughs> take care of some business. And, of course, I start recording, a train comes through again. Anyway. Now, I'm pretty sure y'all can hear that. <laughs> but, uh... Going to insert a screenshot of my phone, since I can't find the paper. Of the, uh... The, the letter. That, uh my attorney, lawyer, whatever you want to call him, uh, showed me uh, my uncle had 50 pigs, 20 cows, 10 sheep, and 8 horses, and to come find out, there's 5 loose chickens running around somewhere. Uh, they didn't sell the chickens because uh, they couldn't find them. So yeah, uh, we see a chicken, we're going to snatch it. But anywho, um... I come down here, put the the front loader on the JCB, which uh, I was wondering what those things was for. Put the bucket. It was all here in the shed. So uh, we loaded that up. And let's fire this baby up. Now, the, the construction site crew supposed to pull the tractor out for us. That we found in the last episode. I need somewhere to drop this bucket. We're we're I, I guess right here would be good. We don't need the bucket right now. We just need yeah. gotta pull my uh, there we go. I don't know why it wasn't showing up. There it goes. A little symbol down there above the ranch. All right. Um. We don't need the trailer, I don't guess. Um. Of course, you know I sold a, a load of wood on, on that one episode. Yeah. Let's see. I gotta do something else too. There we go. I had to fix my steering again. We going to go to the market shop first thing. Of course, it's late in the evening. I, I still haven't fixed that up there. I was going to try and see if I could put, uh, instead of it being black, put orange. But there's <laughs> it. There's our bales. Ooh, one hit the fence. Hello, car. But yeah, we're going to try to get. Let's see. Uh, I think it's this way. Yep. I don't know how many animals we are actually going to buy. We need to go buy them pretty soon. I'm actually thinking about taking a loan out. Yes, another loan. Hey, we're farmers. We're supposed to take it loans out. Um, I don't know where I need to go actually. Where I think I parked it right over here. Yeah, there we go. I just went in a different way. Y'all probably like, uh, what are you talking about? I decided I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to talk to these guys real quick. Oh, all right. That, uh, they said it's okay. Just uh, leave it right there and they'll take care of it. So uh, we're going to sell our uh, blog thing there. Yes, we're going to get how much we're going to get for it? Forty-eight thousand and twenty-one dollars. Yes, we're going to sell it. Now let me get back in here and get on my tablet here. Let's go through here. We're going to go over to our forestry items, and we're going to order. Uh, we gotta have a stump grinder. 
Mm, nothing to it, just a typical stump grinder. We're going to get that. And as you can see, that brought her balance up to 122,000. So, uh, yeah. Um, we're going to, because you can see that was 54,000, and that's why we got that much for it. But if we come over to here, we can get this for 20,000, I will say, and we can get a buggy for it for 10,000. So 30,000, we can uh, have a pretty good setup. So we're going to buy this guy, this typical, I guess. Uh, I do not know what the bunk removed is, so it just gives an extra thing in the middle. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what difference that makes, but we're going to get that. We'll change the tires later. But we're going to buy that for $20,099. Yes, okay. And we're going to buy the attaching buggy for it. Um, might well get that. So it'll be the same. So I want to buy. And let's go pick our stuff up. Now I need another kind of trailer. See, so I'm going to put. Let me get to. Oh, they would be facing the wrong way. Well, it, it's basically going to be a buying episode, folks. <laughs> yeah, we need to buy a lot of things. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get back over. There we go. And we're just going to raise up. We're going to have this poor guy maxed out here in a second. We're going to hook up to our stump grinder. And then we're going to hook up to our trailers there. And we're going to take them to the north farm. Drop all this off. And then we're going to come back and get another trailer. Alright, there goes the legs up. Now, let me put this our help menu here up. And we are on the back trailer. Um, unfold trailer is X. Let's see what that does. Let me zoom out here so we can see what unfold means. Oh, really? That's just our stands. Okay. Uh,. That's the only other thing I, I, I see. Um, that does that. That does that. And that. And that's the call turn and open and close. Okay. I, I, I don't see no... Uh, this thing better have a hitch back here. Yeah, it looks like it does. Uh, stands are up. Let's hook up to the other one. And y'all probably like, um, another train. Oh, look, folks, how that turns. Well, I, that, that can be, uh, uh, very uh, disturbing at times. Um, I, I may have uh, technical difficulties. Uh, let's see if we can just uh, get this here to help us out a little bit. Oh, wrong way. Go down. Clamp on. Am I clamping on right? I 
mind is this supposed to hook up to that if it don't I'm not even going to buy it it says two one two I don't have two things on the back but that should hook up right there. I don't know why it's not. Alright, we're, we're not going to get the second one. Uh, let go. Let go. Uh, let go. I'll be funny if it went then. Okay, I thought for sure it's going to attach to this. So it's, it's not, apparently. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to tell them I want my money back. And let, let's do that right now. All right, let's uh, go through here. Here it is. Right there. We're going to sell that. All right. Wow, they, they removed it fast. Now, this is going to be tricky. Look at that back piece. All right, folks, I, I'm going to take this back to the the farm. Whoa, whoa. And, uh, well, I, I guess it's right over here, old man. Uh, I want to show you all a few things that I've done to the farm also since the uh, last episode. I went kind of crazy on the wood. That's why I'm getting one of these. Uh, this one seems like to be longer. I just hope it's better. You know, because uh, usually when you can get cheaper things, they're not as good as the high price things. Sometimes. Sometimes the cheaper things are better. Alright, how much money? Oh, really? Uh, I was looking at the money. Yeah. Not going to make it that way. That's all right. We're going up. Oh, man. I was going to see if they could upgrade this engine, too. Oh, well. I'll be on the next trip. As you can see, I've been cutting some trees down out of there. Uh, we will get them later. The thing about cutting these couple right here. Um... Let's see here. I guess I'm going to go ahead and take it this way. Uh, I want to show you all this real quick. Then we'll get, we're going to go up here, fire up this tractor. It, yeah, I'm going to have to upgrade the, <laughs> I'm going to have to upgrade this engine if any way possible. If it's uh, stalling, just what? Well, of course, I am loaded pretty good. There's our bales. We still need to get out of the field. We need to get uh, planting. But we got so much other stuff we got to do. Is it clear that way? Clear that way. Um, we got two of the three tractors, and one of the uh, older guys at the construction site gave me a hint also while I was talking to him where I can probably find a third one and we might just go there today and find it y'all gonna be really check this out folks I've been going naham on the wood let me go in through here and there's a lot of trenches and stuff through here this stump yep I gotta get pretty close right here and see unfold trailer I need to detach and we'll pull up just a little more all right I'm gonna hook the booster cables up all right 
let's see if this baby will start. I had to boost it off uh, uh, earlier to get it over to here, so I'm pretty sure I have to boost it again. Look at that. It'll fire right up. Good. Alright, as you can see, the ranch assembled is all the way down to nothing. So she's completely wore out. But uh everything tends to work. I did change the oil. Uh that's why it's moved over here. I changed the oil. Um redone the fuel filters. Um but she does need a few more filters and stuff blowed out and y'all y'all know the routine. Alright. Unhook the battery cables. Let's pull this guy over. Uh, I do have a little story to tell y'all. Whoa, whoa, I don't flip over here. I'm going to set this right here. We got to make sure we don't block the driveway. Because, uh, yeah. The person that owns field one is wanting to feel so badly. I'm going to have to get a weight. For back back of this JCB before we go removing the bells yeah but uh let's stop right here shut my lights off we're gonna get this tractor to the farm shop before something happens to it but you can see I've cut all these trees, but I haven't these trees. She's got one tree. This one tree right here is hers. That's her side of the land. And, and the rest of them I can probably cut, but uh, she came out grabbing. Let me tell you something. She came out grabbing and said, don't be cutting my trees. Well, I called my lawyer. My wonderful lawyer. And uh, he said she only owns one tree at the far end. Don't know which one, but uh, he gave her a phone call. We met. And uh, yeah, she only owns one tree. She said she will sell the field to me. No problem at all. That way she don't have to worry about me. So I'm like, okay. Yeah, I see she's about the first one so far that's been rude to me, so, yeah. But anyway, here we are. Uh, also, I had uh, Colin, Mr. Yankee, and uh, come out to we eat around the sheep pasture there. Um, they run this tractor over. It's pulling out some black smoke, but yeah, that's okay. That's just a... Uh, that red pirate, right? But anyway, we're going to park it here and we're going to wash her off uh, sometime today. Now I got to walk all the way back to the JCB. So I will be back in a second. All right, I'm back. That was a long walk, folks. But we're going to take the JCB now and go and... I'm going to go ahead and put in the order so it'll be ready. Uh, we're going to go Bell and Technology and go over here. We got this in here. Oh. It's, it's not listed no more. Got to pass it. Well, it's not on the website no more. What the? Oh, well. Must have ran out of them. Well, we got this in here. But there's another one that holds like 24. Well, that's all right. We'll get this in here. Uh, I don't know how many it holds. Oh. Kind of close up. And you see right there, it holds... Like one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So 12. 
Uh, let's let's get it. All right, we're down to eighty-three thousand. Uh, yeah, it help if I start my tractor, wouldn't it? All right, let's go get our trailer. I think I'm just going to have the construction crew. They said they would deliver the other tractor for me. Uh, we are kind of busy. We need to get some bales up out of our field so we can uh, get busy working them. This JCB is going to be busy, 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 busy. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go get that trailer and bring it back to the field. And, um, talk to construction guys, and I will be back in a few, folks. Alright, folks, I got pretty much half of the field cleared off. And we are trying to load a few more bales. We got the max on the trailer. <laughs> As you can see, it's three, six, so it's 12 bales is what it's supposed to hold. We're going to see if we can try to get more on there. You know how we roll. We got to max everything out. That's the way farmers do. If I can get lined up this right, I can do a lot better. JCB's handling them pretty good without a weight on the back. It's just, you know, you got to take it slow. And I don't like slow. I don't like slow. But sometimes we got to do slow. Um, good news is we have found all three. So I got to kind of get. You can see where the belts line up. So you have to kind of get it back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got to let it down first, Mr. Lou. There we go. We're going to try to get four more on there. Maybe six. Uh, if we can get four more on there. I'd take care of that part right there, and then we'll have two, four, six left. Oh, yeah. So we're going to try. Get as many on there as we can. Um, going to haul one on the front like this, maybe two. Um, you know, we got to max it out. I'm going to put this one right here. About right there. But the good news is we have found all three tractors. Uh, we got them at the North Farm Shop. We got them all washed up and everything. And took a screenshot. Well, states. No, 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 no. no. Don't, don't fall. Don't fall. Oh, ooh. We call it just in time. All right. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, we got them all washed up. We got thumbnail tuck of them. Um, so, yeah. Oh. Whoa. I need to huh, bump this one. It, it, you know what? We're going to stop right there because the trailer's bouncing. When the trailer starts bouncing, that means uh, that's all we can do. They might not even latch. Or not latch, but oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Belt's going all kind of ways. That one top one didn't. So I think we're going to go, let's see, that's 12, 13, 14, 15 right there. Now I'm going to go and get one more. Man, I really like to get a couple more on there. All right, folks, I got every bell on the field picked up. Talking about maxing out the equipment, right? As this is very sketchy. I got them strapped every which way. Just in case. Got my beacons on. Got my hazards on. And now it's time to pay attention to the road. Alright. We got to take this to the barn. And we hope it sails. 
upper. Uh, they said there's no way of uh, no way of uh, calling them or anything. You just have to go up there. I'm like, oh, well, that's that's just you know. Anyway, right here, um, throw in a screenshot uh, right now. Yeah, if you saw that tractor, that uh, John Deere three-wheel tractor was sitting in the middle of that right there. Yeah, folks, I would have never found that. Unless I, well, I need to mow it. Oh, ooh, ooh, don't turn over, don't turn over. All right, we got to be careful cars coming. I ain't worried about the ones behind me. I just got to worry about the ones in front of me, so. A little fast time music. As you can see, the train got caught me, couldn't cross, had to take it safe. Man, I lost my bell a couple of times. This fork just don't like bells being on it for some reason. I gotta find one that straps down. Alright, uh, I don't know if it's gonna sail right away or how it's just gonna work. Hopefully I'm back up in there and they'll all go bye bye. If not, I'm gonna be here for a while. So keep your foot. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm gonna unstrap and boom. Four thousand three hundred forty-one dollars. Not bad just for a hay. I should have kept it. The rest of them we're gonna keep. Now it's gonna go that way. And you know I came up here, flew my drone. Actually, what I done. And uh, that way is old antique bridge. Uh, I'm probably not going to cross it, but I got to go back out this way, get my bail. So uh, I will see y'all back at the farm shop, all right? All right. All right, we're rolling up in here. We're going to get those straw bales next before we get the grass. That way both those fields will be clear. But I just want y'all to check us out right here. Alright, well, what do y'all think about these babies? We got the uh, 720 John Deere. Oh, got power steering. But the construction guy brought this one up for me. Uh, we have cleaning them up. Uh, we changed oil and everything in them. Everything's good to go. They purr like kittens. Um, so, yeah. Um, the 1586 International with the 2350 loader and uh, we got the turbo farm all got the old Delco battery on there uh, 1206 diesel and then we got a, a good uh, trailer everything seems fine they throw the paint uh, some paint on there stain or whatever whatever they done they made it look original 
Still don't know what that says. But uh, yeah, they they going to help the farm out a lot. Now with the uh, Air National and the farm model, um, yeah, they got three point hitches on them. But the John Deere here, um, no hitch. We do have a PTO, but uh, it's just got a tongue on it. No, no hitch at all. So uh, yeah. They're going to be a, a great help to the farm, so uh, we're going to put them to use. So now we have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six tractors. We went from, from two to three, then to six. I uh, also want to explain some things over here before we go, folks. And it might be a little bit longer episode, but... Uh, the trees that was here um, I think it was one there yep yeah. and then there's the other stump uh, I cut them down so the garden will be that that is amazing how sunflowers just go towards the sun it is amazing but um we got uh, the trees cut down uh, we had Mr. Yankee and Colin uh, I mentioned that earlier uh, I don't know how far they got, like maybe to the horse stable there for a little bit. Well, it looked like they done some trimming down through here with the weeds. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, looks like they went around the sheep pasture too. I got it up right in here. But um, I know we didn't get to buy a field one this episode, but we got some wood to haul out, as you saw. And uh, the hay bales that I sold helped out, but the rest of them I'm going to keep. That's in that one field. Uh, man, I forgot to shut the tractor off. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, folks. We got to... I don't know what to do with the grass field yet. It needs lime and needs to be plowed. If I plow, I have to replant grass. So I'm thinking about... I don't know. I just don't know yet. We'll have to think about it. But next, next episode, we'll be hauling some wood. And I think I'm going to get those bells off screen there. Straw bells ain't but a few. And uh, we're going to put them somewhere over here for the horses. Um, yeah, we'll just come back next episode, folks, and we're going to be doing a lot more stuff. Hopefully it's interesting. I know we're gonna, I'm going to load up the wood and stuff off screen. And, uh, yeah, we'll probably sell it next episode. Maybe put these guys to some kind of field work. Yeah, so... Uh, I appreciate all y'all coming out, folks. I love each and every one of y'all. Till next time, y'all have a great day, a blessed day. I will see y'all later. Thanks. Bye.